like I always say when I go under anesthesia, at least I'll get a really good nap. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, it is already the afternoon. I'm sorry I didn't start um, vlogging sooner. I've had a rough morning, but more than that, I just um, got behind on the editing, and so the vlog just is going up now. Um, but I spent most of the morning in the bathroom puking, so um, I didn't really think about even picking up the camera. I was just puking. Um, so, now Dasher wants to play and I have to keep him entertained, but my GI doctor called and said, because of your Ehlers-Danlos, you, um, and they know this about me from previous surgeries, I have delayed healing. She's worried about doing such an intense version of a G-tube surgery. Um, and I sort of broke down a little bit and I just told her, you know, I'd rather not do the surgery anyways and the way that we've been told is the best is a little more intense and extensive, but we've been told this is, this gives me the biggest chance at succeeding. So, with that being said, I think she's going to talk to my parents and I think my parents are just going to let her know, like, my limitations. Um, on what I'll put myself through, including going through a surgery for no reason. So, um, we'll see how that goes. Surgery is in, is the day after tomorrow, so, well, tomorrow I'm probably just going to be freaking out about Friday, Then Friday is the day. I'm going to throw that for the dog. Um, that's pretty much what's been going on, um, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Dasher. Operation Keep Dasher Entertained So He Doesn't Steal Stuff is underway. You really want to play. Yeah. Come on. Come on, puppy. Come on, puppy. Come on. Yeah. Oh, tug. Tug, tug, tug. Good boy. He doesn't know how to get my attention. Tug! Yes! Yes! Good tug. <laughs> okay. I, when I went to wash my face last night, took off my tape and my face was in so much pain and I realized I had gotten a chemical burn from an allergic reaction that I didn't, I hadn't noticed. And I don't know if you guys can tell now. Sorry, the dog is really hyped up. It's very pink. I've put Neosporum on it and um, a special cream. Fortunately, I can't put anything else on it because my mast cell makes me react to topical ointments and stuff. Um, look at this. This is a dog that needs to get out. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Hey. Stop. Stop. 
anyways, I reacted to it, and now I have to use the silicone tape, which does not hold it very well, so I'm sort of just stuck for now. Speaking of tough, my G-tube's been bothering me, and I look down and watch this. That is my heartbeat, if you can't see. And then I looked under, and don't look if it if you're if you're squeamish because it might there might be something. Um, I usually have a really good tube sight, like really good, um, but it was bleeding, so I just cleaned it off. Um, but it's not happy, so I'm gonna put some. Um, Calmaceptine and alum powder on and hopefully if there's any granulation tissue it will go away. Well I decided unfortunately I didn't get to see my friend today. Um, I might get to see her tomorrow um, but I decided tonight I want to do something fun before surgery since tomorrow is just going to be like resting up and taking a bath because they always ask you to get clean before um I want to get my nails done so I think mom, my mom's going to come home and take me to get my nails done which is really nice I'll get um french nails on my tips and red toenails like always on my toes and I'm just looking forward to that even if I have to pay for it with payback symptoms because I deserve it and it's been a tough week. I am having what's called an adrenaline rush. Not in the traditional sense where you do something and you get a rush of adrenaline, but more um, a reaction. Usually it's mast cell related where I get really shaky and out of breath and I'm having tremors. This is just a real part of it. Thought I'd show you all what it's really like. Totally real part of chronic illness is I can't keep my hand steady to take a video. I wanted to vlog, um, but I'm having tremors in my right hand, so I can't keep it steady. Sorry for the shaky camera, just trying to show you what this is really like. Okay, I'm here with my mom. Hi. And it is 8.30 and I'm getting ready to go to bed. So we're going to end it now. Um, we're waiting for my GI doctor to call about the surgery, the possibility that we wouldn't do the button and that we do a straight J-tube, but like I said earlier, I don't really want to do the surgery if it's not the button. So we'll see what she has to say and we'll explain my situation, or not my situation, but where I'm coming from and hopefully she'll understand and everything will be on. And then, um, I don't know, I sort of nested today and I made like, um, the rest of my parents, um, lunch and snack, snack boxes and tomorrow I'm just going to try and rest and hopefully that'll give me enough energy to get through. Wake up at, what is it? 7, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Maybe even earlier because you have to be there at 7.30. Yep. It's going to be a, it's quite be a day. A, quite a day. But, like I always say when I go under anesthesia, at least I'll get a really good nap. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.